I have a message. I have a message for President Macron. Today, Israel is defending itself on seven fronts against the enemies of civilization. We're fighting in Gaza against Hamas, those savages who murdered, raped, beheaded, and burned our people on October 7th. We're fighting in Lebanon against Hezbollah, the most heavily armed terror organization in the world, which was planning an even greater massacre than October 7th on our northern border, and that has rocketed Israeli towns and cities for nearly a year. We're fighting against the Houthis in Yemen and the Shiite militias in Iraq and Syria that together have launched hundreds of drones and missile attacks against Israel. We're fighting against terrorists in Judea and Samaria who are trying to murder civilians in the heart of our cities. And we're fighting against Iran, which last week fired over 200 ballistic missiles directly at Israel and which stands behind the seven-front war against Israel. As Israel fights the forces of barbarism led by Iran, all civilized countries should be standing firmly by Israel's side. Yet President Macron and some other Western leaders are now calling for an arms embargo against Israel. Shame on them. Is Iran imposing an arms embargo on Hezbollah, on the Houthis, on Hamas, and on its other proxies? Of course not. The axis of terror stands together. But countries who supposedly oppose this terror axis call for an arms embargo on Israel. What a disgrace. Well, let me tell you this. Israel will win with or without their support, but their shame will continue long after the war is won. For in defending ourselves against this barbarism, Israel is defending civilizations against those who seek to impose a dark age of fanaticism on all of us. Rest assured, Israel will fight until the battle is won, for our sake and for the sake of the peace and security of the entire world.